Okay, this is the first test of the uh, AD9850 DDS sport I got. Actually, I got from Bill, N8VUL, who got it from eBay. That's it right there. Got it wired up to my uh, Arduino. And there's like four or five different little projects on here all at once. But that's the board right there. There's only about six wires connected to it. Um... Up here on the code on the screen, I don't know if you can see, but I have the code set for, where is it? Where am I set my frequency at? Okay, right here. And I'm setting it for 10110000, which is 10... 110 so that's right in the 30 meter band okay and then uh, I'm gonna plug it in I've already programmed it gonna plug it into the USB and I don't know can you hear that tone oh, what just happened oh, I got a loose connection somewhere but we go over to the HF radio and you see it's on 10110 plus a little offset so we can get a tone so I'm actually kind of uh, excited right here. Uh, I don't know. You can see my other project there, but uh, the first test of the uh, AD9850 board, and uh, I'm I'm excited. Okay. It's working. Uh, this is kind of like test number two using the uh, AD9850, and uh, you see I got the oscilloscope set up here, and yes, I'm in front of the TV. And uh, I do some of my best work here, okay, and I got my leads here. So I'm going to hold that right there. I don't know, can you see that? Let me, uh, let me slow it down here a minute. Hold on. Okay, I slowed it down. So now you should see, I still have that set to uh, 10, uh, 10, 110. Uh, 10.110 megahertz and the reason it's flickering there is because uh, I'm trying to hold it I can't <laughs> yeah I know I can't find another pair of alligator clips here a little jumper to use so anyways that's it I'm real excited um, you can see it there you can see it here and uh, all right I think I'll do one or two more tests, but it's working. Oh, wait. Just uh, drop my lead here. Hold on. And there it is. Cool. All right. Signing out. All righty. Well, I got tired of being lazy, and I found another little alligator clip. <laughs> so now we can uh, just let that run. And let me see. Let me change the sweep time on it. Uh, let me see, I got the sweep variable stretched out, kind of, so here, let me do that. Yeah, unfortunately, my oscilloscope here, which is a um, 60 megahertz, it's kind of old, it's seen its better days, the switches are noisy and stuff, but it works for, you know, screwing around with stuff like this. All right, well, I'm still rather impressed. Um, I think I'm going to do a few more things with this today here before I call it quits. So, that's it. Signing out for now. Okay, I'm back. Um, I changed the code a little bit just to alternate between 5 megahertz and 10 megahertz every half a second. Uh, just to see if I could con control it. So... That's what it looks like. <laughs> and you can see it's going from 5 to 10. 5 megahertz to 10 megahertz and back every half a second. So, um, so we figured out controlling the frequency on the fly. So now I'm going to try something else to see if I can't like uh, almost generate like, um, you know, the RIDI tones or whatever. So radio teletype tones. So... Okay, right, well, Fine just enough. another test here, and <laughs> that's 1 megahertz and 2 megahertz. 
So you can actually see the one wave and then the two waves as it, it doubles its speed, goes back and forth every half a second. All right, so I think I got the hang of this. Uh, I think I'm going to try one more thing. Oh, that was just my phone. <laughs> that foghorn. All right, but, you know, I got it working here with this. and uh, There, speed it up a little bit. Now you can uh, actually change the divisions and you can uh, see it going back and forth between the two frequencies. All right. Um, I think I'm going to try one more other project, I mean, uh, test here. and then. Okay, I so I modified the code for this AD9850. And uh, I got it, wrote some code so it'll send Morse code. And I don't know if you can see the message there, but it'll say... I know it's kind of blurry, but... And then it'll repeat that message every five seconds. Okay, so let's plug it in. And... And nothing. What did I do? Oh, there we go. Alright, so now let's go over by the HF radio. I have it transmitting on... 10, 1, 10, and you see there's a little offset there. Okay, now it'll wait five seconds and then it'll repeat the beacon. Okay, so you see it's working. So I got, uh, I'm real excited because I got all sorts of, uh, ideas and plans what this can be used for I mean a lot of cool stuff I'm surprised I didn't get into it sooner okay so one last okay. one here Sign I up. got the uh, 90 uh, the 80 uh, 9850 still sending Morse code if you listen you can probably still hear the HF receiver in the background but now we're looking at it on the uh, on the uh, oscilloscope here and uh, you can see where the signal's there and then where it's gone. I don't know why my screen's jittery though a little bit, but you can see what when there's signal and when there's not. When there is signal, it's at 10.110 megacycles, megahertz. Okay, I'm done screwing around for tonight. Signing out.